Hey YouTube, this is Jerry with uh, Right Shot Photography, and I'm gonna do a what's in my camera bag today. Uh, to start with, um, I'm shooting this on uh, Canon 6D using the 24 to 70 f2.8 version 2. Um, and I actually don't have one camera bag that fits all of my equipment. So I'm looking for that now. Uh, so most of the time I have two separate bags. Um, but I don't usually carry both bags with me. A lot of times I'll take one camera and have it on a strap and then have the other smaller bag uh, uh, wearing that also. And I shoot mostly with this first setup, which is my... Uh, my other Canon 6D with the 70 to 200 f 2.8 L IS uh, version 2 lens. And this is the camera lens that I use actually the most often. It is uh, great for portraits. Um, I use it in events also. It's got good low light performance being a 2.8. Um, and it's basically my favorite lens. The other thing I was going to mention is uh, for all of my photography work, I never really take my lenses off of my cameras. So this lens has been on here basically since I bought it, and the 24 to 70 that I'm filming with is on my other Canon 6D, and uh, it's been on there since I bought it. So um, uh, that makes bag selection a little bit more difficult because I always want to have bags that will will hold uh, my lenses with the cameras attached. Um, anyway, on this 70 to 200, it is definitely my favorite lens. It's super sharp. It's got a very distinctive look to photographs. Um, love it for portraits and really good low light performance, especially the combination of the f2.8 on these lenses and the Canon 6D, which does great in low light. So anyway, very happy with that. Um, on both of my lenses, I use UV filters, and they're pretty much no name. I think one of them's a Hoya. Um, I've gone back and forth on whether to stay with the UV filters, but these lenses, uh, I do want to protect them as much as possible and I, I clean them from time to time, so hopefully they're not impacting the images too much. But it is something I've struggled with a little bit, whether or not I should continue to do that. Um, next, I have two, uh, these are my flashes. They're the, uh, the Canon 600 EX RTs, and um, these are great flashes, very powerful. They're the radio controlled units. Um, I have two of these. I actually have them labeled Flash A. Uh, that's my Group A. And um, Group B. Uh, most of my shooting that I've done so far has been very basic uh, with on-camera flash. But recently I've uh, done a couple of shoots with off-camera flash and it is amazing. I get great results. Um, so with, with those, I also have the um, this is the um, the Canon STE3 RT and it's the radio transmitter that works with the 600 EX RT flashes and um, so I have these flashes preset up. I have one that's kind of a key light. Uh, one that's that I use at the lower right, um, and I have those set up. So all I have to do is pop this on, use my flash stand, and uh, and get great flash results using that. Um, I have a couple of other uh, flash accessories. I actually have a Velo. This is the Velo uh, Bounce Dome. Um, I've used this a couple of times. But I find that uh, if I just use the flash with the uh, white card uh, and do a bounce flash, 
Um, I get pretty good results if I'm doing on camera. So I really haven't used this much. I also have a Velo um, mini softbox, um, which I don't have here. I bought it and I haven't used it once. So, um, but I might give that a try at some point. Um, I also have some gaffer's tape, which is still wrapped up, haven't used it yet, but I've heard that that's a, a good thing to have. I may need it in the future. Um, I'm shooting this on a cheapo uh, Manfrotto tripod. Um, it's definitely not high end, it's very basic. Um, but I've hesitated to go out and get a much more expensive um, tripod because I don't really do very much tripod shooting. Most, most things that I shoot are handheld. Um, so this, this um, flash stand that I got, this is the first flat or light stand that I've bought. And I wanted to get something that was going to be fairly heavy duty. Um, I don't mind getting a good deal on price, but I don't like cheap. And uh, this was not outrageously expensive. This was $61 off of B&H. It's air cushioned. It's a 12.9 foot tall, um, very heavy duty, very sturdy. Um, and I've only used it a couple of times, but it's worked great. Um, this is the umbrella bracket that I use on here. So I, I mount my flash and then I use a, a reflecting, reflecting umbrella, um, which is this one. This is the Westcott 43 inch umbrella. And you can use this either with a, uh, a reflective surface or you can do shoot through. Um, and I've been using it uh, as a reflective umbrella. I also bought a sandbag to go with this, which all of the shooting so far I've done indoors, very controlled conditions, so I haven't used the sandbag. It's still in the box, haven't unboxed it yet, but I'm sure that's a good idea, especially if I'm doing anything outdoors. Um, let's see what else I have in here. This is my um, Black Rapid camera strap. Um, this thing works great. Uh, I use this a lot, especially early on. Um, more recently, I actually went and got the, the, the double strap, the dual strap. Um, this comes in really handy. I've shot a couple of events and I can have my 70 to 200 uh, hanging off my right side and I can have the 24 to 70 on the left and it works really great. It's, you have to be a little bit careful that you don't uh, bang your cameras on things, but the, the straps are really high quality and highly recommend those. Let's see what else I have in here. Um, normally I keep a couple of extra um, SD cards in here. I've got um, business cards, try to always keep those with me. So I have two Canon 6Ds and I have two extra batteries and I buy the Canon uh, batteries. I, I usually can get a good price because Best Buy will match the, uh, the online price on these. They're a little bit more expensive but um, I'm a little bit hesitant about buying off-brand uh, batteries uh, for the camera. Another thing that I got um, is this Think Tank battery pack. And I don't want to just throw my AA batteries in together. Um, I like having them a little bit better, uh, better protected. Um, this actually holds eight batteries. Um, and I bought a whole ton of these, um, these Duracell rechargeable batteries. They were the second highest rated after the Inaloops. So, um, and they're more readily available. I can get them just at, at Best Buy. They're a little bit more expensive batteries, but they uh, they do really they work really well, and so I have uh, I have a whole bunch of those batteries, and I have two of these think tank uh, battery holders, and those those come in really handy. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, so that's all of my camera gear. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to leave a, a detailed listing. Um, below the video that will show all the prices um, for these items. 
And if you have any questions, leave me some comments and I'll see you in the next video.